Great looking renders don't just happen by luck. They happen when you know exactly what you're doing. I'm going to read you a short paragraph right now, and then I'll read it again at the very end of this video. But trust me, by the time we get there, you won't hear it the same way you do right now. If you fully understand it from the start, great. But if not, I suggest sticking around until the end. Back then, ambient occlusion was used mostly for lighting, especially in games like Crisis. Maximum speed. But nowadays, ambient occlusion is used more for texturing rather than faking light, especially in movies and animation. Because with ray tracing and modern hardware, computers can handle lighting much better and faster than in the old days. In games though, ambient occlusion is still used for both texturing and lighting. Yes, today we're talking about ambient occlusion or AO, one of those magical tricks that can instantly take your renders to the next level. I have a secret. 